baseball fans and welcome. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton and Singy the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Anthony Volpe leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And our starting pitcher here today, Jose Barrios. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg Yankees. kick, and by the time the hitter Rich sees it, it's right on top Anthony of it. Volpe. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. The pitch. That one fouled off. And the pitch. That's ball two. Two balls, one strike. Hard hit, right side. Throws to first. One out in the top of the first. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of a... Uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series Juan Soto stands in now and watches strike one Barrios a six foot righty 205 pounds and he was born in Puerto Rico one down base is empty out towards left center and there are two down Batting third, the center fielder. Two outs, bases empty. Aaron, Aaron Judge stepping Judge. in now for the Yankees. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That Eight. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Two outs, bases empty. Judge rips that one. Kiermaier has a beat on it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Back here at Rogers Center. And today's starter, Nestor Cortez Jr. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. A wind in the pitch. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. On the corner for a strike. And a count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off.
And a pitch. Tapped up the first base side, and it goes just foul. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Here's a one two. Pop up here, third base side. Cabrera settles under it. Makes the grab, one down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand Whoa, that they're going to come out of this. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. One out, base is empty. There's the strike. One and one. And oh, another ball. pitch line drive and that's a base hit to right so a man aboard now with one away everything came together for him anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it that's great work right there Bo Bichette up to the dish swing and a pop-up foul territory for the catcher Trevino makes the grab two down got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick front shoulder open backside collapsed a little bit and the launch angle not where he needed it to be Justin Turner now line to left and that gets down for a base hit Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No That's messing good. around right there. That, that could be a good. dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside and off because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Number 36, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Right through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Oh, yeah, that's outside. And a count two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Fastball in for a strike. It's two and two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Just off the outside edge, and it's three and two. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Two on, two outs. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. And it's off the wall. One runs in, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. In to score from first. It's two zip. Well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. So, runner at second, two down. Digging in, Ernie Clement. 
And the pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 1. And a strike in there. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Man on second, two down. That one just missing inside. Now one and two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's two-zip. Back after this on the show. Top of the second. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. Wouldn't chase that time. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to her strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Righty delivers. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That was blasted to the moon and they're on the board. It's 2-1. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And there's the strike. 0 oh 1. At the belt and fires. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 2. Rip to third. Rizzo out of the play. Batting six, the second baseman, Labor. Labor Torres up to the plate. That's in for a strike. Nope. And that one That's missing low. The Yanks trailing by a run here at the top of the second. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going.
one down base is empty still two and two after the foul ball swing and that ball smashed on a line flashes the leather on the running catch and there's two away here's Alex Verdugo Alex Verdugo oh can't get out of the way of the fastball and that's going to sting. Now, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Jose Trevino, the next to hit, takes outside. Ground ball, left side. Fires over to Guerrero, and that is the inning. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Cortez, back to work. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. The 0-2. Bounce to third, Cabrera. And a quick out, number one. Batting in, the second baseman, Isaiah. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. That's in there. That's strike one. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And he deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. And Off delivers the outside. Rolling. Tap back up the middle. Sends it to oh. first. Two up, two down. Batting nine, the center fielder, Kevin. Here's Kiermaier. Kevin Kiermaier. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. That hey. one finds the corner, going one. The Hold strong one the second count. inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. And a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Inside almost got him. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Popped up. Torres gets under it. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead.
top half of the third inning and stepping in for the Yankees Oswaldo Cabrera Cabrera the pitch and immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. On the ground at first. And they tag him out. So up next, Anthony Volpe rolled out to second in his first at bat. That catches the outside corner. That's strike one. The Yankees down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Bounce to the left side. Clement over to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Now the designated hitter. And now it's Juan Soto. Fly to left his first time. Check swing. Went around. Strike one. Riding to the plate. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. One and ball. that one is inside. <laughs> Left field, way back there. That one's deep. That'll make it out of here. He muscles that one out the opposite way. His second homer of this series, and it ties it up. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Hit hard. That gets through. And that keeps the inning alive. Now batting, right fielder, Giancarlo. Stanton. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered in this game. That one's in there. Strike one. Judge off of first with two away. Late with the swing there. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still 0-2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We are tied 2-2. Set for the bottom of the third. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, George Springer. The line to kick the pitch. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Curveball over for a called strike. And now the lefty fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2.
Cabrera. Tosses across the first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now singled and scored his first time. Just missed. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a ball in two strikes. The punch out there. And there's two away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat no, speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Bichette in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Just missed. Foul ball. Tied up here in the early going. Bounced up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. And that extends the inning. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Turner climbs in on that right side. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. That no one misses. No Ball one. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Stanton makes the catch, and that will end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. On to inning number four. We are tied 2-2. Out of the fourth and stepping in for the Yankees, the Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo goes six feet, three inches, 34-year-old vet, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2007. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. To the right side. He takes it on his own, and one gone to the fourth. As they get the leadoff man. Now batting, the second baseman, Glaber. Here's Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. And One now it's even up. Right. One down, base is empty. That one down the line, and foul ball. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Got him. That's out number two. Alex Verdugo, the next to hit. The left hitter, Alex Verdugo. Hey. 
He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above that's league cool. average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Two outs. That one to first. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gets it there in time, though, and they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. So the Yanks go in order, and this game is still tied at two and two. Ready to go, bottom four. And now for the Jays, number 36. And a pitch. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. Well, these Jays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Just off the inside edge. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. First time up was a pop out. And a curve misses outside. And a swing and a miss. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. Two out. Just dropped it in there on the top of the strike zone. Certainly not what he was trying to do with that curveball by any means, but at the plate, you could tell he wasn't expecting it either. I'd say he got away with a big time hanger on that one. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. And a curve drops in for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two down, nobody on. That one misses. And one and one. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a one-two again. Stays alive. Another one-two. On the ground, right side. Torres gathers and throws to first. And the Blue Jays go down one-two-three. Nothing doing here this half. We played four. We are tied two-two. now in Toronto top five John Shabby with Chris Singleton and leading it off Jose Trevino the right hander back to work and that's outside and that's ball one. You know, these Yankees, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats. And 
That's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. That one's in there. Two now two balls and a strike. And another ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Kiermaier makes the grab on the run. The battle. The third and next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. And there's the strike. Pulls that one foul. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Backed one off ball. the plate that Two time. Three. That's inside. Wouldn't chase that time. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And that one is inside ball one. Right there. Two on there. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. And the righty deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Cabrera, the base runner at first with one out. Barrios a check to first. Oh, and he dives back in safely. The pitch. In the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. To third. Close play, but in there. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Watch Soto now. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Ground ball to the right side, and he picks it up in foul territory. Pickoff move to first. Oh, Volpe back easily. And the pitch. Strike three. Got him swinging. 
huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. One for two. That's a base hit. The run scores from third. It's 3-2. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring in back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch misses. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two on, two outs. And a count one and two. Two outs. And another ball. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. First and second, two down. Misses and the count's full. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And that is that. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Off. Leading off, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Isaiah. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. And a pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Bounce to the right side, collected by Torres, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The back, the center field, Kevin. Here's Kiermaier now, 0 for 1 with a fly out. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo snags it and a couple of quick outs. The batter, the right field. And the George. batter is George Springer. Springer. Swing and a grounder foul for space side. Inside Whoa, just missed. He swings and fouls one off. Mm -hmm. 
battling here as he fouls it away. Blue Jays down a run. Last half of inning number five. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So they go quietly there. Five innings complete. Yankees three and the Blue Jays two. And we're back. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Barrios back to work. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Chad Green, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. You won. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Oh, Boog, I know how much you love free stuff, and this offense has to love a free base runner to start this inning, even if it hurts a little bit. We'll see if they can do anything with it. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That's all for Jose Barrios, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher to this break. New pitcher now for the Jays, Bowden Francis. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Glaber Torres up to hit. In there at the knees, it's 0-1. Well, at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Here comes the 0-1. Right through there for a strike. Kicks and fires. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Grounded to third. Could be two. Fired to second. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Hey, they played the matchup right there. Worked out perfectly. Got the ground ball double play. And that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. And up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. Pitches in for a strike. 0-1. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two down, nobody on to third. Oh, great stop. Throw to first, and very nicely done for the out. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Back here at Rogers Center, bottom of the six. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And ball one. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Luis Heel getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Ferguson warming up as well. Here comes a pitch. Fastball for a strike. And it's one and one.
And another ball. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Ripped on the ground a second. And Guerrero is set down. Now battle. The shortstop. And next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That nope. misses the zone. And that is ball one. And that drops in for a strike. Center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Number, number two. Designated hitter. Justin. Here's Justin Turner. Turner. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Jays trailing by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They trail it 3 2. Top of inning number seven, and here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Francis, a 6'5 righty, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2017. Not even close there. One and two to count. That one drilled left field. That's back there. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Fouled off. He was late. And he'll one. And a foul ball. Bases empty one away here at the top half of inning number seven. Ah, look yeah, out. I got him. That Go fastball straight. drilled him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. One for three. Right through there for a strike. Cabrera leads off first with one away. The shortstop takes the ball. That's in there. And the count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Two, two, in the dirt, blocked. And the runner holds.
the 2 2. Bows it back with two strikes. Here's a 2 2. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Here's Juan Soto. He blasted Juan out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Inside Aye. corner, that's a strike. Going one. All ones that count. That one missed. 1 0. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Springer going back, drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Coming home. He scores. It's 4 2. Picks himself up in RBI. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Man at second here. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Now batting, the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Not close with that one. One and oh. He was late there, strike one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering misses down and away. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. It's now 4-2. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now for the Jays, number 36. Well, he came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. Oh, and that's, that's outside. Down. And that's ball one. Well, these Blue Jays just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. Ball, They've been fooled break. quite a bit today. The pitch. Good oh, eye in that spot. Two two now. Full count. Good plate oh, appearance there. 
able to take the walk. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. So up next for Toronto, Ernie Clements. Strike one. Oh, and one. With the tying run at the plate, here the bottom of the seven. Nope. Next pitch misses That's inside, and yeah, the count even one and one. Well, just about to hit that century mark, a hundred pitches for this game. Just missed. Way to lay off that pitch down. The tying run at the plate. Smash down the left field line. And that one hops the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. Aaron Boone makes his way out of the dugout and he will make a move to the bullpen. Nestor Cortez Jr. is done. Two run ball game as he heads for the dugout and we'll be back with a new pitcher. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Luis Heal. And never an easy situation coming in with runners at second and third. He's got a base to work with, so he doesn't have to be perfect, but he does have to make some quality pitches. Yeah, the batter now, Alejandro Kirk. Golden opportunity right here. First pitch, just misses. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Lifted in the air, out to left. Verdugo gets under it. Calls it in, and there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And next for Toronto, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. One there. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. So the tying run at second. That's in. Ball two. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay oh. back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. Kevin Kiermeyer on deck for the Blue Jays. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Two on, one out. And that'll oh. load the bases. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now for the Jays, Kevin Kiermeyer. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Can't grab it cleanly. He never gets off a throw. Everyone safe, and a run comes in to score. Hello. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet knowing that you can come through with a good swing and there he doesn't try to do too much here's George Springer and there's a strike good heater at 98 
Righty delivers. Out to center. Dives. What a play. Runner tagging from third. A big run scores on the sack fly. It's 4-4. It's hard to believe a man that large is that athletic. Just a great diving catch by Aaron Judge. And when he hits the ground, everybody feels it. So first and second with two outs. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Connor Falefa, the lead runner out at second. Kiermaier at first, two out of the inning. In the dirt. To third. Tag. Got it. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang. Play to end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits. No errors. And a runner left. We look ahead to inning number eight. And we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Trevor Richards. He's been so good against lefties. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. Just missed. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Check swing, and that's a ball. To the right side. Connor Falefa throws the first in time. One up, one down. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got no, out in front a little bit, second rolled second. over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here is Glaber Torres. First pitch, and he just misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Chad Green preparing to come on if needed. Good take by Torres. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Tied at four. Hey. And that one fouled off. All tied up, and we're in the top of the eighth. Goes down looking. Alex Verdugo getting ready to hit. Alex Verdugo. Out of line, out towards center. Kiermaier makes the catch, and that'll do it. Three up, three down that time. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. And we are tied 4-4. Four -four. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ian Hamilton. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first base. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. The pitch. 
That one ripped, but foul. Right into the plate. That one finds the zone. Oh, with two down. Right-hander deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The batter number 11. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. And the slider just misses. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Dennis Santana getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Right-handed reliever. Yeah. Line drive, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. One down. Here's Turner now. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And that's in for a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The 0-1. Almost got him. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Runner on the go. Little chopper rolls foul. The one two. And that one gets past the catcher. You know, sometimes it takes a reliever a little time to get comfortable with the mound out there, especially when they come in trying to be nasty with every pitch they throw. Not exactly what they were looking for when they called him in, though. We'll see if he can settle down. And here it comes. Yep. Off the mark there. Full count now. Number 36. Waiting to hit for Toronto. Three, two. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. With the go ahead run standing at second here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And ball four to a board. Here's the left fielder. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. In there for strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the cow so that you can dictate the rest of the at bat. Nice job right there. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Ball, two strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go-ahead run at second base. But job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. So first and second with two outs. Now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. 
That's the third. Cabrera. They take the force out, and we stay tied as the inning ends. Blue Jays leave a pair. Still all square at four apiece. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. The right-hander back to work. Swing and a pop-up. He's under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. He's 0 for 1. Switch. And fouled off. Just missed. And strike two. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Right-hander kicks deals. Got him swinging. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding him with fastballs, and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. Fought off foul. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. And that one almost got him. At the belt and fires. Three. Got him swinging on the curveball. And the Yanks go quietly. So they make short work of him there. Bottom part of the order. 7-8-9. Two up in inning number nine. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now Alejandro Kirk. Hamilton back to work to the left side but it is well foul four four in the ninth that's a slider for a strike movement in the bullpen play Holmes getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Tied at four. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, when you throw the same pitch Number back to back, seven. that's how you want to do Second it. Base. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Now it's the second baseman, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. That one to first, and there's a hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the mound. Here's the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. It immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter.
One down, winning run on first. Ground ball right side could be two. Feed to second, that's one. Double play, and we're headed to extra innings. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Tenth inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Chad Green ready to go. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now Juan Soto. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. The pitch. That one not close. Ball one. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning. And that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error. And, Boog, to your dismay, not much yeah. sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning. But for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the Good home one. team bunt sometimes. Tied at four. Wouldn't That's chase that good. time. Home plate umpires Good trying one. to tighten things up a little bit. And he deals. And he hits a ground ball right side. Guerrero He's takes out. it to the bag. One away in the top half of the 10. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. Here is Aaron Judge. Up next to the Yankees, the right fielder. Making a move at first, and here's the pinch runner, Jemai Jones. Two on, one out. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. First pitch, not close. That clips the corner. Two on, one out. And that's outside. Two and one. fly ball near the pole that one is foul two two now keeps the at bat going with a foul ball runners are at the corners one away Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And another ball. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. And the righty deals. Grounder might be two. Lifts to second. That's one. And that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout.
So coming into the game now on defense, Jemai Jones. He'll be patrolling center field. New pitcher for the Yankees, Caleb Ferguson. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Here's George Springer to start it off. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. And a pitch. Fouled off down the right side. Man at second. Breaking ball in there for a strike. He's fallen behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. And a pitch. And that's outside. And the count is one and two. And now the lefty gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Now Vladimir Guerrero Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 1. -on one away, and the game winning run stands at second. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And Guerrero is set down. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. Here's the shortstop at the play, Bobichet. The shortstop takes the ball. Here's a one one on the ground to third. Whips it across. Three up, three down, inning over. One left for Toronto. This game's all tied at four. And we're back. 11th inning set to get underway. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Man at second, nobody out. Chris... Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. Yep, They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. And one out now. 
Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Here's Glaber Torres. And that's in the dirt. That's down and in. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now battle, left field, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Not even close there. And a count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in no two count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Right into the plate. Bichette whips it to first. And Verdugo is set down. That's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on base. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th. And we are tied 4-4. We're in extras here. So now Turner in on that right side. pitch way outside and it's one and oh tied at four found back our way and that's out of play pitch in the air left field Verdugo gets under it makes the catch and there's one gone up next to the Blue Jays the left fielder Jason Snyder now the left fielder a strikeout and a walk well first base open Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting inning ending double play. That one a little bit high, and that is ball one. With the winning run standing at second, we are in the 11th. And there's a ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Out to short on the run. Throw to first. And that is out number two. Now batting. Third baseman. Ernie Clement. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. Side. Oh, 
just missed. Winning run in scoring position with two away. And we're in the bottom of the 11th. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. The winning run on second base. That one outside. And that's ball three. Alejandro Kirk on deck for the Blue Jays. Ball four, he walked in. And that'll keep the line moving. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. 0 for 4, two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Safe at first as they can't make the play. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you got another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for. On the mound now, Victor Gonzalez. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. And next for Toronto, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. This is off the plate, 2 and 0. Oh. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The pitch. That one missed, now 3 and 0. Oh. He's going to have to find a way to get back in the zone. Good thing for the hitter, should expect a strike right here, knowing the pitcher can't walk him. Rio down. In there at the knees. Winning run at third, two down. pitch that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going swung on belted Jones on a dead sprint racing back to the warning track makes the catch Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Back now, we're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, Tim Meza. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Jose Trevino. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. And a pitch. Touch the corner. Strike one. Fights it off, you'll see another. Mm -hmm. 
Great. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Now, Oswaldo Cabrera. That one's in there on one. Man at second. And fouled off. The pitch. Up the middle. In plenty of time to first. That's it out. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Now this is in the air down the line. Springer there makes the catch. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. Sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back now in Toronto. Bottom of the 12th inning now. And now for the Jays, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kiermeyer. And a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Not close with that one. Now one and two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. That one in the dirt and gets away. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Well, that right there can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball's gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it because you're already in scoring position. Well, he was sure there, and now he's only 90 feet away from scoring. Tied at four. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. Bring her. And now the right fielder, George Springer. The 0 1. Just nope, missed. Definitely a strikeout situation 21. right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Now this one's crushed down the line. Fucking foul ball. That one not close. Two and two. Winning run at third. One down. Here deep into extra innings. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to bat next. Hard ground ball for base stop. The winning run crosses. 
crosses the plate, and the Blue Jays win it in 12. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.